all, and thanks for, for coming to, to listen to my speech. Uh, I have worked now for uh, about two months in Omniata, so once I've heard about this opportunity, uh, I tried to find and um, turn that uh, as an advantage. Uh, it's a new industry for me, the gaming industry. Uh, I have been working for telecoms, uh, building analytic solutions for telecoms, media, retail, and finance, but uh, gaming is something completely new to me. And now after two months of experience, I decided to compare how it differ differs from what I have seen in the other industries. First, shortly about the Omniata growth story. The company was founded in California two years ago. Uh, the founders are uh, former data leads from, from di digital chocolate and electronic arts. And all this, this time we have uh, developed the, uh, the product with our customers. And we are privileged uh, to work with really exciting games companies such as Electronic Arts, Rovio, Miniclip, and King. Uh, currently, we process uh, close to about uh, 175 uh, million monthly active users and 400 billion events per month. Uh, we have closed total funding so far $6.8 million. Uh, and our product is currently in the beta phase. Uh, it will be generally available in the beginning of, of uh, next year. And in SLAS, we uh, 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 offer early access program for our product. But now to the uh, gaming industry and how analytics look, look like there. Uh, this is the background information uh, to show how analytics used is in, throughout the game life cycle. Uh, the game life cycle starts from developing the game. Uh, I have here two different perspectives. First of all, the player or user pers perspective to the issue, and then the company or, or product perspective. And it starts from developing the game, and there is a small group of people uh, testing the game already in that phase. And the dotted line uh, describes the uh, soft launch and finally the global launch of the game. Uh, it continues fr from there uh, to installing the game, uh, acquiring and engaging customers. And once they are engaged, uh, it's about all about playing the game. And from the company point of view, monetizing, so getting the uh, revenue for in, uh, investment and re-engaging uh, the customers. And finally, uh, it ends up with uh, preferring the game. Why do I want to play exactly this game? And, and then from the company point of view, retention and lifetime value of the customer. And there are analytics and BI units uh, utilizing analytics and data, product management, and marketing units. Also, uh, management in general uses data. Games teams use data. And what kind of analytics is then uh, used there? Uh, in pre-launch uh, phase, uh, they use it uh, to test game balance and game economy. Uh, they want to already on that uh, stage, they want to identify uh, key custom metrics for the game. After the game is installed, uh, it's all about optimizing the game. Uh, what are the game balance insights? Uh, doing A-B tests to optimize the game content. Uh, they want to understand the users of the game. Uh, games teams and analytics teams, they might want to do custom data mining and user acquisition, uh, what kind of ad networks we want to use, etc. Also, uh, data and analytics is used there. In the playing phase, uh, they can offer personalized UX when the data platform is, is advanced enough. They can deliver user-specific content. Uh, they can deliver user-specific re-engagement campaigns, et cetera. And on the other analytics side, they can use standard metrics and custom metrics. And finally, analytics can be used in user retention to understand the users, uh, 
on, on uh, building re retention campaigns for the users. So, how do the games companies, how do they uh, utilize analytics and data in, uh, when compared to other industries? Uh, the core is that the, the data and analytics, it's in the very, very center point of both the company itself and the product and the, and the game. As I described the game life cycle, it's there, uh, but it's also like it's throughout the whole company, uh, data is utilized. And I think it's, it's much because of the uh, free to play, play game model, uh, which is why companies need to drive value from the, from the data. And they need to optimize the game for the users. Uh, they need to provide uh, a personalized user experience there. And my first observation from this area was the speed and agility uh, of the companies. They act really fast. Uh, they do, do fast decisions. Uh, data is flowing fast. And they have the latest technology in, in place. Also, modern technology and skills, they are great individuals you, uh, uh, working in the companies. Uh, and they, ha they have much less rigid silos uh, than, than like more traditional industries because the companies are somewhat built around the data. And my most favorite quote from one of our customers, Richard Vladimiro, who is the game analytics lead from Miniclip, the real big difference is that everyone now asks if they have data to support what they are working on instead of uh, assuming that they know what is good or not. Just telling that they have really good data platform in use and people trust on data. They trust that they can make better decisions based on that data. And finally, a few words about the future. Uh, the picture here uh, describes how I see uh, optimal data platform. It starts from collecting data from different sources. It's not just the uh, games industry. It might be uh, from, from other devices such as wind turbines, maybe, or Fitbit, or whichever de uh, device that generates enough data. Then you need to make that data accessible, and, and you need to give good tools to analyze that data. And you need to give uh, those tools to as many people in the company as possible, because that way you can encourage in innovations based on data. And finally, based on that data, uh, take actions, automate actions, make better decisions. And through those actions, also more, more data is generated, and that way it closes the loop. And on top of this kind of platform, it's possible to build good data applications. You can buy like uh, industry standard uh, productized data applications, and you can create your own, which you can uh, share with, with, within your company. So with those words, I want to thank you all. And if you have any questions, our booth is there uh, next to the silver stage, and you can contact me directly as well. Any questions, comments? Thank you.